My name's Kevin. I, uh, I'm a former athlete. I had my SI fusion done in May of 2022. And in 2012, while working in the pest control field, I had a backpack sprayer on with a lot of liquid in it. I fell and kind of bumped my tailbone. And the pain started to intensify, escalating all the way to 2022 when I was pretty much an invalid. I was unable to walk, I was unable to stand without help. I no longer was independent. I couldn't do things on my own. I didn't go anywhere anymore. I didn't see friends anymore. Every morning and every day was about what did I have to do to endure the day? And, I, and, and I'm not talking about living, I'm talking about existing. I tried every kind of medication that pain management could give me, yet it never touched the pain. And eventually it led to ablation surgery where they burned the nerves. I exhausted every avenue before I came to Dr. Williams and Susan Rubin. My name is Alistair Williams. I work at Mountain Valley Orthopedics where I'm a spinal surgeon. Today we're here to talk about SI joint dysfunction and the role of I-Fuse in the treatment of that disorder. The sacroiliac joint is essentially where the spine meets the pelvis, and it is a joint that is mainly supported by strong ligaments. SI joint pain is actually very common, and it can account for between 15 and 30% of low back pain, and in individuals who have had previous lumbar fusions, that could be up to 40%. The problem is, is that it can look like back pain and it can look like hip pain. When an individual comes in to see me, I have to evaluate all of the areas surrounding the low back. After we determine that it's not the lumbar spine and not the, not the hip itself, we then have to turn our attention to the sacroiliac joint. My name is Susan Rubin. I am an orthopedic spine PA. I work with Dr. Williams. I've been working at Mountain Valley Orthopedics for several years. My job is to diagnose SI joint dysfunction. When I first met Kevin, what I saw was a young man who was obviously in a lot of pain. He had told me that he had failed all conservative treatment and no one really could figure out what his diagnosis was. I performed a very extensive physical exam on him and he was in pain throughout. I then ordered an SI injection on the right. We place a needle into the SI joint and inject some numbing medications and we determine whether or not it relieves your symptoms. If it does, then this is indicative of the individual having sacroiliac joint dysfunction. About a week later, I had my very first injection. I had immediate relief. The pain was gone for the very first time. Surgery is not the only option for sacroiliac joint dysfunction. Sacroiliac joint dysfunction could be treated with many non-surgical treatment options. Those could include physical therapy, mechanical stabilization with a sacroiliac belt. There are injections as well as other pain management interventions. When they no longer have relief from these modalities and they have a good diagnosis of sacroiliac joint dysfunction, then your treatment options then are surgical. The I-Fuse procedure is a minimally invasive procedure. We make a small incision, then we place a small pin that goes across the joint. So we normally put in three I-Fuse implants to go across the ilium into the sacrum. The surgery takes about an hour, and the patient goes home either that day or the next day. The implant's triangular in shape, and it is porous coated which allows bone to grow into it. The iFuse implant, the use of it is supported by a tremendous amount of clinical data. It works extremely well and the patient satisfaction is very high. When I woke up after the SI surgery, I immediately noticed the pain in my leg was gone. As the time progressed, I got back to being in the gym. I could walk through the mall with my wife. I could take my dogs for a walk. I could play with my grandchildren. This changed everything in my life. It was the hardest thing to look at the people you love and tell them you're sorry for being angry all the time. Never stop seeking answers, because if you do, you'll be in pain forever. There are people, wonderful people and wonderful products that can help you get better. It changed my life more than anything I could have possibly imagined. If any of the symptoms that I've described here seem to apply to you, and we would be happy to have you come in and determine what the next best course of treatment would be for you.